Hi guys, Ormagokin here from Apex Music, back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, how to get your DAW audio into Zoom and Skype. Uh, this is basically coming up uh, while everyone's on lockdown and in their houses and stuff. Uh, people have been asking about getting better audio in the likes of uh, Zoom for calls and stuff like that. But then it's a little bit more specific towards uh, musicians, this one, uh, because uh, we've been asked as well. Uh, people have started doing uh, Zoom parties and stuff like that. And it's basically where they're doing gigs to people through the likes of Zoom and Skype. And basically today, we're going to be talking about how to get your audio from your DAW, likes of Pro Tools or Cubase, uh, taking that and putting it into Zoom so you have your good audio, you can use plugins, you can use whatever you have in your DAW and send that through uh, as best quality as Zoom can possibly take it to whoever you're streaming to. Let's jump right in. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here in Cubius. Um this is just a little session that I set up uh whenever I was testing this out earlier. Uh so basically what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be getting our audio into Cubius and then we're gonna be taking the audio out of Cubius and send it to Zoom. So basically what you're hearing now is this is the audio in Cubius and it's coming out of Cubius and being sent into uh, the streaming platform I'm using. Uh, so you can see I've added a high pass filter on the voice. Uh, I've also set up a channel for my bass. Two seconds. So as you can hear, you can hear the bass as well coming through. So that's, uh, you know, that's really simple. This thing I had set up uh, earlier uh, when I was chatting to Graham on uh, Zoom and uh, we were just sending ideas back and forth for something and uh, I was playing the bass and just had the mic going. So this is actually, it's a fairly simple setup, to be honest. Uh, it just uh, took me a little bit of uh, messing around to try and figure it out. Uh, first things first, uh, I'd advise you to, uh, whatever setup you have, uh, get your audio and everything set up in Cubius through your headphones or speakers or whatever you have that you're monitoring through. Uh, we're going to be working in Cubius today, but the same thing applies for basically any other DAW. Uh, I set up today for someone else on Cakewalk and it worked 100%. Excuse me. And it'll probably work on every other platform really easy. Uh, so go in, uh, get your channel set up. I have a channel set up for the voice and for the bass. Uh, get yourself set up, put whatever effects, whatever you need really on. And uh, once you have that done, then we move on to the next step. So you're going to need to download three programs for this. Three, there's my fingers. So uh, for this setup anyway, uh, I like this setup uh, better than a few others. There's another way to do it, but uh, this way allows you to feel a bit more like you're, you don't have to monitor yourself and uh, there's no... Uh, there's no chance you're going to get any like feedback loops or anything like that when you set up like this. Uh, so download a thing called ASIO for All. Uh, it's basically a driver that uh, uh, it's like an ASIO driver and it's universal. Uh, it works in Windows and it basically uh, lets you add loads of different uh, interfaces and uh, audio uh, drivers into it and mess with it. So after you've downloaded that, there you go onto this website. By the way, all these links will be in the description below. Um, 
once you go do that, go on to VB Audio. Uh, VB Audio are a, a free uh, um, donation only company and they uh, have a few very cool stuff going on here. Uh, the first one you're going to want to download is called Voice Meter with two E's. Uh, Voice Meter is just basically a virtual audio mixer. It lets you uh, mix together virtual audio signals and hardware audio signals and send them out. Uh, once again, it's completely free. Uh, if you want, you can donate to them. Um, once you've got that downloaded, then download another program by VB Audio. It's called VB Cable Virtual Audio Device. And this, you don't actually have to do anything with this. You just need to download on your computer. Once you've got it, uh, you basically just let it do its thing. There's another way to set it, set the whole thing up just with uh, virtual audio cables uh, and it works just as well but uh, there can be problems with uh, it playing back stuff through the speakers and uh, playing back stuff and like delays and stuff like that uh, so this is the most stable way that I've found uh, so once you download both of them uh, it's as simple as go into your download folder install all three of them you'll be prompted after you download the VB stuff to restart your computer just restart and uh, once you have that done come back in uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your DAW so once you've your DAW opened up uh, here's QBase so you go into devices device setup and you're going to want to set your VST audio system to ASIO for all and once you have that set up, then it'll show up here saying ASIO for all. So if I changed any of them, that wouldn't be there. So click on ASIO for all and control panel. You'll get this little prompt coming up here. And this is basically all your audio devices. Now these won't show up unless you have uh, your uh, VB audio stuff installed. Um, now the first thing you need to do is make sure VB audio virtual cable is disabled. Because you have that disabled, uh, what most, well, Cubase does it, Pro Tools does it, and Cakewalk does it, I know that for a fact. But what most DAWs will end up doing is it'll try and take priority away from the virtual cable program. And you want to keep that uh, uh, left free for when you're sending the audio back over. So make sure you've got VB Audio Voice Meter VAO, I assume that is. Uh, make sure that's selected. Uh, your auxiliary VAO and this is my interface so if you're using an interface which I assume most people will make sure that's turned on as well uh, sometimes you won't get this you might have to click over here it'll say advanced view uh, so you might just have to click that there uh, and really there are the only three you need it's your interface VB audio auxiliary and VB audio VAO so either of that this will all come up here and what you're going to want to do is then go into your uh, inputs and outputs and I just have uh, so this is set up from my interface so the inputs are set up from the interface so that can be whatever interface you have I've got uh, the Tascam US1800 and there's loads and loads of inputs on it but I basically it's set up going from the first one for the mic and number nine for the bass and once you do that, then you go to outputs and you want to make a stereo output. And uh, some uh, DAWs will have this set automatically. Uh, but if they don't, um, you just go in here and make a stereo output and set it for voice meter VAO 1 and 2. Once, and there is a few here, you'll actually go in voice meter auxiliary VAO. It has to be voice meter VAO 1 and 2. Once you have that set up, then what you want to do is open voice meter. So voice meter is kind of cool. You can set up your hardware inputs and stuff like that. If I wasn't doing anything through the door, I would just be going straight into voice meter on the first channel and just coming straight back out again. But uh, when I'm using the door, there's this thing here called virtual input. Uh, the virtual input is what you have set. So that's uh, that voice meter VAO one and two. And that's coming in here, channel one, channel two. So what you want to do after that then is make sure both these A and Bs are selected. And 
and also make sure this AMC button is on. Um, once you have that done, you'll want to be setting up your hardware outs. So your first hardware out, uh, I would suggest making it something that isn't going to be used during this. Uh, so I've just got it set up as my monitor, the display. Uh, most HDMI monitors will have some sort of speakers in it. Just turn the speakers down and set this out if you're not using them or just find something that's not being used. Uh, and then after that, you go to A2 and you want to set that up as cable input VB audio virtual cable. Uh, what that basically is, it's that that's that other program that we got, this virtual audio cable. Uh, it's basically, it's a virtual link between your, sorry, where am I at? Yeah, so it's basically a virtual link uh, that basically sends out to wherever there's no wire connections or anything like that. It's basically a virtual one. Uh, so you can see that's my audio coming in here. It's being sent to both your main out and your virtual out. So once you've got that done, then it's more or less plain sailing from here. You just load up Zoom. So you load up Zoom and you go settings and audio. I have my speaker set to the task cam and then from a microphone, you get all your microphone settings. Uh, you get this other one called voice meter auxiliary output. That's another way to set up, but I get a lot of latency with that. So this uses cable output VD, VB audio virtual cable. And you can see there when I'm talking, that's the audio coming into Zoom. And it works perfectly for chats and everything like that. Um, it works great for your Zoom parties, anything at all. Uh, then this same concept applies for everything. Once you've got that set up, you can set uh, that on uh, Skype. Uh, you can go on Facebook Live and uh, set it as Facebook's uh, uh, internal microphone when you're going live on Facebook uh, and basically anything else as well. Um, and it works perfectly. There's no latency or anything like that that I can really see. And then you can have your effects, everything. Let's see here just a reverb. So there you can hear the reverb on my voice and that's going through Cubase and coming out of Cubase into virtual here and then out of virtual here into, well, I don't want to go to Zoom but this is going to OBS just for this video. So yeah, that's basically it. It's a fairly easy, easy setup. Um, you don't have to spend any money to set it up. Everything's free. Uh, you can even use uh, if you have a free DAW or something. Uh, you can more or less do all this completely free. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this has helped you out. Uh, if you could, like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments. And if you like these videos, uh, hit the little bell icon to get notifications when we update these videos. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.